Beloit police looking for at least two suspects linked to a deadly shooting on that city's east side. It is the city's fifth homicide of the year. The suspects believed to be armed and dangerous. A 24-year-old man recovering from non-life-threatening injuries. The second man is dead. Investigators say shots were fired following an incident that started on Porter and Randall Avenue, just a few blocks from an elementary school there. The night team's Maria Guerrero, first on the scene, joins us now with the latest. Maria. Well, Beloit police have identified a suspect who is not yet in custody. Police searching for clues tonight as a family tries to understand why a husband and father of two children is now gone. We moved over here to better our life because I was pregnant uh, with my first child and we came out here to start over. Gretchen Thurman's new life in Beloit with her husband, Derek Kimber, was cut short on Porter Avenue. And they say somebody just walked up out of the middle of nowhere and just started shooting him. This woman heard the shots and says she's so frightened by the ongoing violence she doesn't want to be identified. I came out, I saw them coming from there, fast. They crashed there, their bumper fell off, and they crashed into the blue car. Police say Kimber crashed the silver car he was driving into five vehicles parked at Merrill Elementary, leading the school into lockdown mode and drawing neighbors and residents to the scene. It's sad. I hate to see another life gone for a shooting, but that's Beloit or anywhere you go. It's just gonna happen. Karen Miner has seen something like this before. I'll never forget the way my son was murdered, and it might bring memories back. Miner lost her 18 year old son on February 8th. Joseph Dubuque was driving his car when suspects started shooting. Police say his passengers were the intended target. I've been pretty strong throughout my son's um, death. And I'm trying to be stronger and stronger, and walking down here is going to make me even more stronger. This mother joins a widow with two children, asking for help in finding those responsible and ending the violence. You didn't too much care for him or his children to just take his life for that, for no reason. So if anybody has any information where this man is, can you please find him? Thank you. The connection between Kimber and the other injured man is not known right now. Again, Beloit police identifying one suspect who is not in custody at this time. Police also looking for additional suspects who are all considered armed and dangerous. Anyone with information is urged to call authorities. And all kids at the school are fine. We understand yes. they're breaking for Thanksgiving now. Exactly. Uh, the February shooting, going back to that, any arrests or updates there? There was an arrest. Three months after Joseph was shot and killed, Beloit police arrested 20-year-old Angel Servin for his murder. Joseph's mom hopes Kimber's family also gets the justice and a little bit of peace of mind with Indeed. this. Yeah. News 3's Maria Guerrero reporting tonight. Maria, thank you very okay. much.